yeah, Thomas was talking about the temperatures, of course. Just wanted to point this out. Um, this story in the Daily Mirror um, saying that record numbers of holidaymakers are... Um, obviously, as people can now travel a bit more freely, um, looking to go abroad this summer as these travel curbs end for the first time. So it's looking to be the holiday season, the busiest, as um, there are lots of bargain deals out there. And we, I should say, we're going to be talking to Simon Calder a little later, about in about an hour, about 20 past seven, because there are quite a few problems in terms of staffing levels because of COVID, um, for various other reasons as well. And we're seeing longer queues than usual at various airports around the UK. So he's going to bring us up to date with that. Yeah, I think it's Heathrow and Manchester, Manchester as well. So uh, one or two places. Yeah, more on that. Let's have a look at some of the front pages for you on Saturday morning right now. Uh, so The Guardian first, carrying the headline, COVID hits all-time high in UK. The paper saying that experts are calling for the immediate return of free testing the day after the government ended free rapid tests for most people in England. The Daily Express focuses on Prince Andrew, saying that the Duke is keen to play a key role in the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. This after he escorted his mother at the late Duke of Edinburgh's memorial service on Tuesday. According to the Telegraph's back page, England's footballers have a dream World Cup draw. That was the draw that took place, uh, of course, for Qatar after they were pitted against the United States and Iran rather than coming up against Germany in the early stages. The Los Angeles Times homepage carries prominent stories on both Ukraine and the latest news about the actor Will Smith, who, as we've just heard, has resigned from the Oscars Academy after hitting comedian Chris Rock on stage during last Sunday's ceremony.